Hey, sniggling us back in the house, back in the house. Yes, just to answer some questions on 1080, 1080, 60, and 4K videos, this one is. And some clarifications on, on one of the videos I did last night, okay? That's all this one is about. Okay, here we go. First, I had some questions about 1080p and uploading to YouTube. Right. Yeah, food's on acid. Acid. <clears throat> he says here, <clears throat> I'll go to the first one. At the bottom here. Top one, bottom, bottom, top. Okay, he says, I have a 4K monitor that I run at 1080p due to I find the UI of the windows is too small. Otherwise, to use it as a comfortable fashion. It's a 28-inch screen and it's 1080p. It's very easy on the eyes. Yeah, I totally agree. Totally agree with you. Totally agree with you. And it's okay if it runs at 1080 or 4K. And 4K also is a hell of a lot of your hardware and bandwidth, especially if you're leading in countries, as they've been made up where you have a monthly bandwidth limits. Oh, no, I couldn't have that. No, 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 no limits for my opinion. A lot of videos, especially taking heads, etc., are fine at 720. 4K would be handy if you need to crop to 1080. So stabilization would be easier. Bloody, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, I totally agree. On some monitor sizes, 4K just does not work, okay? Just does not work. I don't know why, just what it is. Sometimes if you get a larger monitor, it will look better. I mean, I've got a, I've got a 32 here, which is big enough, really. From I could go bigger on this desk because it's quite a large desk. But then I wouldn't be able to have my other monitor on the desk at the side. So that would be a bit different, wouldn't it? But, yeah, I can see what you mean by running at 1080 to make it look nice, okay? Right. I totally agree. On your second question, if you shot in 1080 and upload it, would it look better than the 1080p that some YouTube generates from the 4K video? Right. If you do a 1080p, sorry, if you do a 4K video, a real 4K video, the 1080p that you get out of that will only be 1080p 30. But you will not lose the quality of the video. Whereas if you shoot in 1080p 30, the algorithm knows that that's what you're shooting at. And when it gets to YouTube and they start encoding it, they tend to make it look really crap, okay? That's all I'm going to say. So if you want to make your videos look really, really good, and you're using 1080p 30, try re-encoding them into 4K. The file size shouldn't get that much bigger, but when it gets to the other end for them to encode it, because they encode nearly every video, as far as I'm aware. They encode every single video once it gets there. You can tell by some people that they get a big video and it looks really terrible. Others, it looks great. This is why the reason that I say that 1080p 60 is a sweet spot, because it's got a large enough file size to say to the algorithm, well, look, I've got a lot of stuff in here, you know. Whereas if it was 1080p 30, it's only like 200, 250. And the algorithm goes, I don't really need to do much of that. Bish bosh, not such a good quality. So if you go into your encoder, and I'll show you this in a minute, okay. I'll do it now, okay. I do it now. We're just going to use OpenShot for it an idea and I'll import a video bloody 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 blah and show you some of the settings. So if I wait for that to install here and I'll add what shall I add if I go to videos there should be a video there. I'll open that one there's an MP4 and I bring it into the timeline. Now this is in 1080p 60 okay. Now if I go back and minimize that go down to my files and go into videos you'll see that video it's 580 meg, and that's been encoded. Now, what I have found, if you start using other um, editing tools, that's the word I was looking for, especially earlier ones, they will make that smaller, quite a bit smaller. And I'll tell you the reason why. So if we go to encode here, I'm not going to do the encoding for you, leave it in all formats if you want the best quality possible for your video. Do not go down to the web, right? If you go down to the web, then you choose Flickr, say, but you don't even choose YouTube HD. These are the presets it gets for you, okay? So you want it on high anyway, but that's not my settings, is it? This is 1080 /60. If I go there, there's no 1080 60 option. What you have to do is then go down here to Profile, then go and find 1080 60. You tap it in there, bish bosh. Then you have to go to Video Settings, 8 megabit quality, no good, because they're just going to muck it all up for you. So you've got to change that to at least 15. So, all I'm saying is, if I click on here again, we go to all formats, make sure it's MP4, 264, 
the 265 will be coming online very, very shortly, and it's really good. I have been playing with it, obviously not in open shot. So you want 264, then your video quality profile, and then the quality, and you will get that size out of it, okay? You'll get a really half a gig uh, size of your video file. Remember, YouTube is going to make that smaller, okay? But if you've got this much to give them in the first place, the algorithm seems to think that it's got a lot of its information to deal with. On the other hand, we could go back to advanced, or no, we need to, we'll go back to advanced, where all formats, and we go back to where we want. So we want, where's it gone? It's up the top, isn't it? If you try to encode that at 6060, that's going to be a humongous file, okay? Humongous of humonguses, that's going to be, but it may not work, okay? They may see you coming and say, oh, no, 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 that's not going to work. So, yeah, sorry that was a bit complicated for everybody. No, I don't want to save that. So, anyway, that's that bit out of the way. Also, some of you seem to think on one of my other videos that I did last night that I wasn't going to do any videos. No, that's not what I meant. What I meant was that I hadn't been doing many videos recently, although when I do do them, there's quite a lot at the same time. I'm not stopping doing videos at all. You may see me over the summer holiday do two a day. Who knows? It just all depends how I feel. But as I said before, because of the oversaturation of the Linux YouTube at the moment, there is little point in me doing too many. I'll just cherry pick the ones I want to do. Whereas 10 years ago, almost, I would do every one I could possibly do because there was nobody else doing them. But now there's lots of you out there, whether you're good or bad, it's not my opinion. I don't really care. If you want to do your videos, you do your videos. And I'll do mine like everybody else does. So I'm not going away. I'm just saying I, I won't be doing as much a distro reviews for the simple reason. Yes, you can use VirtualBox. Yes, you can use real hardware. There's a big argument with both of these at the moment. And I'm on the fence, really. I would prefer if everybody done it on real hardware. Then sometimes it could be better in VirtualBox. But all I said before was, if you're going to do it in VirtualBox, just say it's in VirtualBox and nobody can ever moan, okay? I ain't got a problem if you do do that. Not at all. But just say at the beginning of the video, this is in VirtualBox or this is on real hardware. Or whatever. But if you've got concap on the side and it's showing loads and loads of RAM and loads of CPUs, you know it's real hardware, don't you? Hope that gets it all out of the way. Anyway, I've got to continue finishing my brewing. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you part two today actually, because it's uh, really fermenting well. Sneaky next out. I says bye bye.